Hello everyone. Welcome to MedicineRiverDreams.org from where I stand. And today uh, I'm on my back deck and I'm, I'm going to talk about regalia, powwow regalia. So uh, I dance in a style that's known as Northern Traditional. And I have a couple of key components of regalia here. One is a, a spreader with, uh, these are turkey feathers painted to simulate eagle feathers. Uh, I'm not in a tribal member. I don't have a card. I don't have a permit to have eagle feathers, so I have fakes. Um, and uh, so th this is a, a roach with a, this is a roach spreader with with eagle feathers, and uh, these are made um, to spin back and forth as you as you dance, and when the wind catches them. And I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more in a while. So this is a roach, and um, right now it's you know I just took it out so. I'm gonna unwrap it. This is a roach stick, and this is how you store one. And believe it or not, to to re uh, make these stand up again, what you do is you put them in the oven at like 200 degrees for a while. And this is made from this isn't real porcupine hair. This is fake porcupine hair. It sticks up a little bit better. It's a little fuller. And this is uh, I use horse hair. A lot of people use deer hair. I use horse. But anyways, it would, it would go on my head like this, and this spreader would go in the middle. And I'm going to try to show you, but there's uh, there's three holes in it. Well, there's there's two holes in this in the roach itself, but and the spreader. So there's a hole here. You can see them on the bottom real easy. There's a hole here, a hole here, and then what my wife does is she takes my hair and she makes a braid up here, and that's for the top hole, and then another one here, and that's for the other hole, and then a third braid. And that just kind of ties the bottom on a little bit. So um, I wear the roach traditional way um, with my hair. I don't wear a neck band. I mean, a, a neck band or a headband or anything like that. I still have enough hair to do it. Thank you. So uh, I, don't, I don't know. I kind of think that might change soon. So, but whatever. But anyways, the reason I'm talking about the roach and the, the spreader is because I struggle with uh, wearing the roach because the roach is supposed to be the, the um, sign of a warrior. And what modern society thinks of a warrior, uh, I really don't like that. I don't want to be thought that way. Um, I really wish that every violent act that I've done in my life, I could go back to that place and time to that situation and do it differently. So I never hurt or harmed or enacted violence upon anyone. Uh, I know I can't, so I move forward and then uh, I really try to preach peace and, and humility with people and that's why a lot of you know me um, know that I'm completely against weapons in the circle I understand a lot of you um, think differently but whatever so anyhow um, I struggle with this this roach because I don't really view myself as a as a warrior in the way that society says a warrior is uh, I don't think I'm a soldier or anything like that so so anyways um, I, I like to think uh, you know Sitting Bull is a guy who I, who I like a lot, and I like a lot of things he said. And one of the things he said about a warrior is, uh, uh, warriors are not what you think of as warriors. The warrior is not someone who fights, because no one has the right to take another life. The warrior, for us, is one who sacrifices himself for the good of other. His task is to take care of the elderly, the defenseless, those who cannot provide for themselves, and above all, the children. The future of humanity so if, if uh, that's the kind of warrior that I'd like to be looked at so um, I don't know if I'm quite there yet so I don't know if I really deserve to wear this or not but uh, sometimes I do and I, I hope that I can live up to those things so the other thing that I really like to think about is um, uh, what what it means to be a man and a traditional northern dancer so I, I think about strength and, you know, where does strength come from? So again, I go back to Sitting Bull and Sitting Bull, you know, he said, nothing is so strong as gentleness and gentleness and nothing is so gentle as real strength. So a lot of people, you know, they like say great things to me about me and um, I hope I, I can live up to what they think of me and, and, and I hope that I imbue and show gentleness towards others. So now we're going to talk about the feathers up here. Uh, hold on one second. 
we had someone else who wanted to be part of the video. So, uh, <laughs> so um, we got the, the feathers and they're on. I'm going to show you. They're on. I'm going to take one out here. They're put into this, into here with bobby pins. And they're kind of, it's a hard thing to do. It takes a while and it's hard. They're hard to get in and out. And it's kind of a pain. And that's kind of the reason we don't like doing it. But anyways, um, let me try the other one. Oh, there it is. So anyways, if you can see that, they're on a, that's actually a swivel for fishing. That's a barrel fishing swivel. And what that does is uh, if the wind catches them as you bob your head up and down, they spin. And these are known as the warrior feathers. And uh, several years ago when I visited Pine Ridge, I had the opportunity to, to go sit and talk with a, an older gentleman who's been a traditional dancer for many, many years about several things and one of them was regalia and he told me what the, these two feathers on the spreader signify for his people his folks so they signify two warriors and um and the war that you fight within yourself and you know humility and pride and those other things and once again i'm going to go back to sitting bull and sitting bull has a quote that a lot of you have probably heard and he said inside of me there are two dogs one is evil and, and mean and the other one is good and they fight each other all the time when i'm asked which one wins i answer the one i feed the most so when you see a northern traditional dancer and you see these two feathers on top of their head spinning this is the battle that they fight within themselves for humility and pride among good and evil among themselves and when you think of yourself you know Think of the same thing, because this is a battle that we all fight every day. It never goes away. Every time we wake up, it's something we have to fight again. And when you think of a warrior and you see a roach, think about what a warrior really is. Is it someone that's strapped with weapons and, and guns and other things like that? Or is it someone that clothes and feeds and takes care of those that don't have the things they need? So this has been from where I stand, medicineriverdreams.org. I hope you learned something about regalia. I hope you're all in a good way. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you.